All right, what's up everyone? So I just got a call from a subscriber and I uh, and I thought about doing this video about difficult nurses because it's a problem. You know, it's a problem uh, dealing with difficult nurses, dealing with nurse managers, dealing with all of these people. And I, I want to give it some context about what you can do. And let, let's, let's talk about it. Oh. All right, what's up, everybody? So I got a call the other day from a subscriber on my channel and um, this person was was pretty upset. I could hear she was telling me about what's going on in her situation. She started talking about dealing with, with difficult nurses and she told me her situation, which this situation is actually occurs a lot and it, and it falls in one of those gray areas that that it's hard to really identify and there's really not much you can do about it, but there really is. And I'm going to get into that after I kind of tell you what's going on, and I'm going to tell you about dealing with difficult nurses, what you can do. Again, why entrepreneurship and independence and having options and all of that stuff is is in your best interest. And I think when when I started this channel, you know, I didn't really know where the channel was going as as I progressed through, entre through nurse, nursing entrepreneurship, having options and things like that. I don't even look at basic nursing, especially the business aspect of it. I look at it completely different. I have a completely different realm of how I look at it. You know, I want to I want to kind of give context to all of that and, and what you guys can do and what you will be dealing with as a nurse on a regular floor in the hospital. So anyways, let's get into the story. The girl calls me really upset and she's talking about, you know, her preceptor. Um, well, first of all, let's say this girl really wanted to work in this hospital, um, a magnet hospital. And basically her preceptor was screwing with her, you know, like giving her, giving her a hard time and uh, messing with her and things like that. And, and no matter what this nurse did, that the preceptor just basically gaslit her the whole time and, and made her feel bad and didn't actually try to teach her whether I, I, I couldn't get the whole story about why I'm sure there's some underlying issues, but usually when I see a situation like this, especially in magnet hospitals and in, in larger hospitals and university towns, one of the things that you're going to have is you're going to have the people that are like, they're, they're the, the gatekeepers. They're the company men, so to speak of, of the hospital. And, and usually they're pretty much idiots. They're just company people, you know, um, they're not really necessarily great. They're not necessarily bad nurses, but they're not, you know, they're just nurses. Nursing is not a difficult career. Once you learn it and you get into it, it's not, it's, it's not difficult. The people in inside the profession make it a lot more difficult than it has to be. And a, and a lot of that has to do with politics. A lot of that has to do with jealousy and especially amongst females on females, whether you like it or not, there's jealousy there and, and it happens a lot. And um, anyway, so this girl, she just, you know, no matter what she did, the, the, the preceptor, she couldn't do anything right. And then she said that they gave her, you know, remediation educational models to do and she did them and then they were basically like look we're going to let you go we're going to fire you or you can just resign and so this girl resigned you know whatever but but basically she goes you know it really sucked because I did all the educational models this and that and I said look that right there you, you know once that once they say we're going to remediate you or give you education that's not actually to help you they're not there to help you they're there to cover their asses. They're there to say, hey, we did this. Now we can fire this person or we can let this person go or basically force a resignation because they 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 sell you on this myth that, you know, if you're ever fired in nursing, you'll never get another job, which is complete bullshit. And, and, and that's what I want to get, you know, as a nursing entrepreneur now, you know, of course, it's easy for me to now to sit back and I'm making my own money and doing my own thing to sit back here and say, oh, don't, don't worry about it. You'll get another job, you know. But honestly, that's why you need to have the mindset of an independent nurse. That's why you need to have the mindset of a nursing entrepreneur. Because no matter what you do, and it does, this can be said in life, this can be said in, in general public, whatever job. If you're looking for security and comfort from the hospital, you know, or from a magnet hospital because it has a good name. First of all, they're not going to pay you that good because they have pick of the litter from the universities of just a feeder of nurses. 
they're not going to pick you, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not going to give you high money. They're going to pay you low money because they have literally have the pick of the litter. The only thing that they market themselves on is the name Magnet Hospital or University Hospital or whatever nonsense they want to believe. But, but, but don't forget that these preceptors, these nurse managers, these administrators, they're just company men, you know, or company women, so to speak. And that's why I said you have to have that mindset of a nurse entrepreneur and a, a, nurse, a nurse hustler, basically. And that's where, that's kind of where I come in and what I like to talk about because it's so important to have that mindset, to have that freedom mindset, to have that independence mindset. I don't give a damn if it's in a relationship. I don't care if it's in your job, in your life, whatever you're doing. If you don't build something on your side hustle, if you don't do something to actually give yourself independence, and build that confidence up that you can do something, then you're going to be at the mercy of whatever company is giving you your paycheck, right? And I don't mean to sound, you know, rude about it, or but that's just the way it is. That's You're going to give up independence and, and for security, freedom for security. That's just the way it is. And not everyone, you know, 99% of the population will be like, well, I'm, you know, I'm comfortable where I'm at or I'm doing this. And that's that's perfectly fine. But But I'm not, you know. And, and if you're calling me and you're upset about a situation because that happens a lot, if a, if a nurse, if a preceptor does not like you, it doesn't matter how great of a nurse you are. You could do everything. All the other nurse managers have to go on is what this preceptor says. This preceptor may be a complete idiot. And it may be a, you know, a situation that no matter what, they're going to listen to the nurse preceptor. Um, this is not an unusual situation. It's, it's such a, you know, it's hard to really think about and look at the reality, but the reality is that these hospitals are not here to, to actually help you. They're here to pay you as low as you can and to keep nurses in. And a lot of these magnet hospitals and these uh, university hospitals or whatever, they, they don't have a nursing shortage, right? Because they just have complete feeder programs going into them. So why do they have to pay you more? Why do they even want you there? The only, re the only re way they're going to take you into their hospital is if you have to toe the line of what they want. And it doesn't have anything to do with nursing care. Nursing care is pretty basic. Nursing care is not that hard. It's made hard by the nurses within the system. And, you know, that's kind of what I'm fighting. And I want to get that out there to you guys that you can say, fuck the system. You know what I mean? Fuck the system. Do your own thing. That's going to bring more power to nurses. That's going to bring more power to you. And if you start embracing that mindset now, start building that mindset. I'm not saying don't ever work for hospitals. You, you know, if you think I'm saying that, that's completely wrong mindset. I'm saying build your own independent nursing uh, practice or build your own in independent nursing travel. Take your own contracts. Be your own independent contractor. That should be the goal as a nurse because without that right there, you're going to be at the mercy of asshole doctors, asshole nurses, and everyone else. But when you're your own boss, your own independent contractor, who cares? You know, there's so many jobs out there in the nursing field, so many opportunities out there for you to go in. I mean, there's literally hundreds of nursing specialties out there. There's all kinds of nursing entrepreneurship ideas. And, you know, I guess that's one thing I'm frustrated with because people want me to hold their hand sometimes, and I can't do that. Now, when I put my course out, and show you guys how to do it, um, you're going to be like, oh, wow, these are all, all these great ideas. I can do this. I can do that. And it's a, kind of a slow process that builds on itself. Um, so, you know, going back to just dealing with difficult nurses is the sad fact is you have to. If you set your, your career up that way, you're going to have to deal with them. They, they suck. They're like the company men. I, I, I go back to that because that's what they are. And if you are a nurse manager, and, you know, don't be like that. You know, you can be, a, there are great nurse managers out there. Don't get me wrong. But the majority of them are going to toe the company line because that's what they are. And, you know, at the, the, the girl who called me told me at the end that the nurse manager got rude with her and said, look, this ain't no other hospital. We don't need you here. Now, if a nurse manager ever told me that we don't need you here, I would get my ass up and walk away. I've done it before. I've done it at hospitals before for people being rude to me because I have respect for myself. And you should have respect for yourself as a nurse to not ever put up with any of these difficult nurses. And you do that by building your own business, building your own practice, building your own independent contracting. That's how you do it because you don't have to put up with that. You go to where places that need you, that need your work, that are happy to have you. 
That's how a business relationship works. Not being gaslit by these university hospitals and these magnet hospitals. So I want you guys to understand dealing with that, you're either gonna have to deal with it that way by losing that security. I mean, by losing that freedom and for that security of a paycheck, a very low paycheck. Um, I highly recommend you start going down the path of independent nurse practitioner or independent nurse uh, practice or, or independent nurse consulting, whatever you want to do. But you need to start going down that path now. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in that same negative, toxic environment of these magnet hospitals and these university hospitals and all of that. All right, guys. Peace out.